from your married gal. I just wanted to come on here really quickly and say that this vlog is out of order. I actually posted a full behind the scenes, super raw, unedited wedding day vlog, and that's already on my channel, and I really just wanted to post it and get it up, so that's why that came out before this one. But this is just the last week before the wedding prep vlog, and I still wanted to get it up because it still is good footage and memories to look back on, so yeah. This one is up, but make sure you, you go back and watch the one I just posted, which is the actual wedding day vlog. And then I mentioned this later on in the video, but there is a full, obviously, fully edited video from our videographer coming from our actual wedding day. It was the best day of our lives, and I'm so excited to share more with you. So yeah, let's get into the video. Good morning, you guys. I am so excited to be starting this vlog. Also kind of terrified to be starting this vlog because that means the wedding is in less than a week. Today's Monday, so this is the start of our wedding prep vlog. Wedding week vlog. It's wedding week. Today's Monday, we get married on Saturday, and there's so much we need to do this week, so I definitely wanted to vlog it because I wanted to have all these memories and also share it with you guys. So I'm so excited. You have no idea. Well, you probably do have an idea, but it's 9.40 right now, and I have a call with our DJ slash MC at 10 just to go over everything. And Kiko was supposed to be here, but he had his bachelor party yesterday, so he's not here yet. <laughs> And you probably won't be here till later, but that's okay. So yeah, I have that call. And then other things on the wedding list today are practice my makeup again because I did it yesterday, but I did it like at night. So I wanted to do it in the morning and see how it wears. And then we just have a bunch of other appointments and stuff later on this week that I definitely want to bring you to for like physical prep, like hair, lashes, nails, all that stuff. And I am so so excited so make sure you subscribe if you have not already because we do really fun things on this channel and let's get into it okay i'm wearing a tube top by the way but just got off the call with our dj and he's like he's super nice super cool guy i guess the venue people call him like the uncle uncle paul because he's that vibe which i love it's gonna be really fun and he just went through the whole timeline he sent over a huge doc of like things to fill out and that was pretty much done so we just went through it and made sure everything was good and he made me feel a lot better and a lot more calm about everything so that was nice so i just have a few more things that we need to finish for that and like finalize the songs and stuff and that'll be done but yeah it is 10 32 i was gonna do my makeup i told you again today but i'm not gonna do it today because i have a chiropractor at 4 30 today or 4 so we're gonna skip the makeup today because i hate wearing makeup when i go to the chiropractor especially if i'm gonna do all my makeup so we'll probably do that on wednesday i think hmm yeah wednesday i'm getting my lashes done in the morning so i'll probably come back here and then do my makeup with the fresh lashes and then that'll be my next trial <sighs> but yeah things are really really happening really coming together huh you need to get groomed before maybe i should make an appointment for your grooming i did it before when i did it on his birthday that was the first time he got groomed and we just did it at pet smart it's pretty expensive though and like i didn't even really notice a difference after he did smell good but his fur is pretty short compared to most golden retrievers so he didn't look like super fluffy and fluffy and crazy you know but i'm probably still gonna do it because he needs a bath for sure and he has like a few matted pieces behind his ears that i might just cut out because i think they like charge per minute on dematting areas so i'm not really down for that so we'll see i'll look up some places also it's a mess in here I'm gonna make some coffee though, and then we'll get on with our day. Also, this is the fit. I'm obsessed with it. This tube top was literally like $5 from Target, and I love tube tops. They're so flattering and so comfy. And then these sweats are from Daily Drills. So cute. Love them. Hair's in a bun because it's pretty oily, but I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, so I don't want to wash it because they're just gonna wash it tomorrow. Hello, guys. It's 12 p.m. and i'm going to the mall really quickly because i need to get some seamless nude underwear to wear under my dress obviously and i went to victoria's secret i don't really like the ones that they have because the bands are like so thick like wide and then i went to target because i heard they had really good seamless ones but they were all out so now i'm going back to the mall and i'm gonna go to nordstrom because i know they have a lot of different options i know they have skims one so i want to check out those two but i'm meeting my sister here because she has to return my niece's dress that she bought the other day because it's too small on her and i have to give her the shoes that i bought for my nephews yesterday to give them to her to make sure that they fit them so that's what we're doing right now i really want to go to like pressed or something and get a green juice 
because I just ate salmon and rice and I feel a little, I don't know, I need something refreshing. So that's fine. I got back home and parked in the garage. This isn't the best angle, so I'm sorry. So hot today, by the way. The sun just feels so good, but like, it's very hot. So, got a couple things. First off, got my underwear that I needed, finally. Went to Nordstrom and it took me kind of a while to find a pair. This is by the brand Commando. I'm showing you this because I'm sure it'll be helpful for people who are looking for good seamless underwear. So, it's just a very seamless thong. The sides have a seam on it, but I don't think you'll really be able to tell. And got what I needed. <laughs> and then I also picked up socks for Keiko to wear because he was just gonna wear like plain black socks or something under his suit. But I was like, I'll get you a pair of fun socks that you can wear since you can't really like see them unless you like show them, you know? So I found these, we went to the stance store. And these are adorable, they're like Hawaii themed and his family is from Hawaii, so it's pretty cute. Honolulu, Hilo, Maui, Oahu. I think that's all that it says on here. But the print looks like this and it's just so cute. I said that's me, but gotta get a little tanner before then. So I think these are really cute, I'm excited to give them to him. I don't know if I'm gonna give it to him as a wedding day gift along with this other gift or just before. I might just give it to him before so he can see. And then we went to Crest and got a few juices. There are four for 22, so we got four. Well, she got two and I got two. I already drank the greens three one, but I also got the citrus one, which is cucumber, pineapple, coconut water, lemon, aloe vera. I don't know if I've tried this one, but I'm excited. Ah, I just hit my tooth. Just making sure it didn't crack in half, you know, cause that would be unfortunate. But yeah, let's go home. My mouth is so dry right now so i need to go chug some water and yeah i'll update you guys later okay guys good morning i am not in the best headspace right now i feel very sick I'm like so nauseous i was in bed all morning it's 10 45 now and yeah i almost threw up this morning well like i basically threw up but nothing came out and i've just been very nauseous and yeah so i took some dramamine and drinking a lot of water and tea and my mouth is so dry right now but I have to go get my hair done so we're doing it nothing is gonna stop me from getting married on Saturday all these attacks from the enemy not letting it happen not letting it stop me everything is gonna go wrong and that's my mindset up until the wedding but the wedding day is gonna be perfect so that's where my head is I need to leave though because I'm gonna be late already so yeah, I just wanted to check in because this is how today's going. Hello, I'm back. It is 5 p.m. now. Didn't take that long. I think I finished at like 2 or 2.30ish and came home, rested, did some wedding stuff, and I feel a lot better physically, so that's good. But yeah, this has just been a pretty rough day. I started to feel kind of nauseous at the salon too and very anxious, so that was not very fun. But yeah, this is my hair. I'm obsessed. It looks so, so good. It's not like ashy like it was last time. It's more warm tone, which I really love. We just did a partial balayage, so she just brightened up the front a little bit more. Fixed my roots and then added some into the back, and it's very blended, so that's awesome. I love it. It looks so good, and I'm obsessed with salon curls, like Every time they wave my hair, I don't want to shower because I don't want the waves to go away. But uh, I'll just have to learn how to master them one day. But yeah. I see Ashley at Style Lounge in San Diego. And she's amazing and she's so nice too. So highly recommend. But it's 5 o'clock like I just said. I just finished up the wedding binder documents. So I finished all of the papers and stuff. But I just have to print them tomorrow. And actually assemble the binder. So that's when I'll actually show you it. It does have a lot of personal information though. So I'm going to try to show you. But probably can't show you everything. And yeah, Kiko has been at our new house. They're moving in too soon. Cleaning the floors. Because we got paint all over the floors. So he's been there pretty much all day. And he's also at his mom's house packing his started packing all of his stuff and everything to move over so it's crazy so much is happening and i've gotten so many sweet messages on instagram and everything about me feeling sick and how it's so normal to feel like this the week you're waiting with all the stress and everything hitting and it's just weird because like i don't feel super stressed like i don't feel stressed with a lot of things that i have to do it's more so just like i can't believe it's actually here and i think Feeling sick is what makes me stressed because I'm like, oh, I cannot be like this on my wedding day. Like, I cannot be sick on my wedding day. So, that's kind of what's in my head and, like, what's ruling my anxiety right now. But I know I'll be fine and I'll be all healed very soon. I'm already feeling better than I did earlier today, so that's good. I literally could barely even talk this morning without almost wanting to throw up. So, we're making progress. 
but this house is absolutely a disaster like it is so messy in here and i just cannot function like that so i started to do some laundry because i'm behind on so many loads of laundry but i'm also about to run out of laundry detergent so gonna need to go get some of that too and yeah lots of stuff to do okay a couple of things that i wanted to show you actually are mom's gifts came in we got them these recipe cutting boards they're wrapped in plastic it's not actually this shiny but it's really super cute recipe for a mom and it has a really cute message on it so i got two of those for each of our moms so i need to wrap those and i also got a new pair of white sneakers that i can bring because i my heels are very comfortable but i don't think they're comfortable enough to wear the whole night so i'm just thinking ahead and wanted to get a new pair of sneakers. So, just came in. They are the Nike Air Force One Mids. What are they actually called? Air Force One Mid LE. And this is the big kids version because they're cheaper and I don't even know the difference, but I'm very excited for them. I kind of tried them on, but the laces were being really weird. So I couldn't like completely see how they looked, but this is what they look like. They're so cute and I'm so excited to wear them. And now I have brand new white sneakers, so I'm excited. What else guys, what else? I am stressing out right now. I also got in the little mini sewing kits for the emergency kits, but they're actually very big and I don't think they're gonna actually fit in the emergency kit. And I don't know if they're actually gonna need these. So I don't think I'm gonna put them in, but I am gonna keep them for future because you can always use a sewing kit and look at how cute it is. It comes with everything. I'll probably bring one, but like I'm not gonna put it in the actual emergency kit little baggie because it's not gonna fit. But yeah, I'm wrapping our mom's gifts now. I showed these in the last vlog, but I got these gift bags from Target and they're very cute. We just have two of them. Adorable. I just like wrapped it in tissue paper, but I'm gonna fill these now with more tissue paper. And there we go. So cute. So many gifts. <laughs> Okay, I'm also putting together a baggie of everything that is going in like the detail shots. So like all the stationery and then we have our like little custom ring box too. So I just put everything in the Ziploc. I'm just going to show you what's in it really quickly. I'm sure there'll be more. Like my shoes obviously are going to be in the shots and then our actual rings. So let me show you these really quickly. Okay, so I can't really show you our invitation because it has very important information on it, but we can show you the program. This is what the program looks like. I showed it on my Instagram already. They're from Minted. They're so cute. It just looks like this. And in the back has a picture of us with a little message from us, which is cute. And then we have our menus, which are adorable. Look at these. Welcome to dinner. <laughs> And the back has a little picture of us too. And then I'm covering all the information, but this is our invitation that I made myself and drew the little flowers for. Back has a picture of us also. And then a little RCP card that has important information on. So we've got all that. And then just the black envelope. There was a gold seal on here, but I decided to just honestly don't want to make another seal. So I'm just going to put it there and then they could probably just like tuck it behind the envelope. But we have the ring box also. I don't know if I ever showed you this. It's from Amazon and it's so stinking cute. It's this little acrylic box that says Kikoa and Lauren the Wilkums, May 21st, 2022. It's so cute and it like is magnetized so this will just like be for pictures pretty much and then we can keep it like on our bathroom counter or something to put our rings in at night or when we shower that type of stuff so cute i just wanted to show you that okay guys it is later now i'm practicing my hair because i'm pretty sure i'm doing my own hair in my wedding so i know that i wanted to do this little like braid vibe thing like bubble braid it's not really cute right now because i did it super fast but we see this i don't think i like the braids on the sides though i think i'm just gonna leave it unbraided like these ones because they're just too small and look kind of weird but yeah i think it's good with the amount of hair that i'm leaving in the front i think that looks good i'm just gonna like recurl a few pieces because it already kind of fell out especially in the back so i'm just heating up my wand and then i'm gonna touch it up and then i need to take the braids out because i'm not gonna put the braids in it good morning everyone it is 10 a.m wednesday may 18th what the heck there's a friday saturday three days until the wedding insane i'm feeling well 
I don't feel nauseous anymore, so that's good. That has passed. That was just a yesterday thing. I'm praying and I'm declaring, but I did start my period this morning. So things are just really hitting me hard this week. And you know, it's okay, we're gonna get through it. Since my periods are usually pretty short, like three to four days, by Saturday, it should be almost done or done maybe even if I'm lucky. So that's good. But yeah, I am dealing with cramps now, so that's unfortunate. But anyways, I had to share that because I am just that lucky. But I am about to go leave to get my lashes filled. They still look really, really good. This is like two weeks and I feel like I'm barely missing any. I am missing some, but I feel like it shouldn't take that long either because they're already pretty full, but yeah. I'm about to leave, I have to go to the ATM first because she takes cash only. And yeah, we're gonna go. I'm excited, but my stomach hurts. And Kiko went to CVS right now. He's starting to feel a little sick and congested, which just what the heck with us. <laughs> but he went to go get stuff for congestion and all that. But it, he thinks it's because he went surfing yesterday and it was like really cloudy and overcast and all that because that's happened to him before. So that's probably all it is. I mean, I'm sure that's all it is. And so we went to go get stuff for that. And then he also is getting the ibuprofen for my cramps. I never really take things for my cramps, but I feel like I need to now because I cannot be a couch potato all day. I need to do a lot of stuff today. And then he's getting me some more moisturizer, that stuff. Oh my gosh. Do you know your parents are getting married? You have a huge eye booger. You know your parents are getting married in three days? Three days, what the heck? Also, my hair looks so good. I'm so in love with it. Okay. I need to leave in 15 minutes, so I'm hoping he comes back before. But yeah, I'll update you guys. Okay guys, I just got my lash fill and it looks so good, I'm so excited. And it took literally less than an hour, which was so nice. Usually it takes, well, since I still had a lot of lashes left, it wasn't that long. But I'm really happy about them. It's 11.53 now and yeah, we gotta get the day going. I go to Ideal Lash Boutique, I think it's called. Her name's Giovanna, and I love her so much. She does my lashes perfectly, but I'm gonna head home now. I need to eat something, like a smoothie or something, so I kinda just wanna go get a smoothie. And yeah, let's go. Okay guys, I'm home now. I don't even know what time it is. I think like five or six. I think it's actually like six o'clock, but we went to Blue Bottle and we sat outside and wrote a bunch of thank you cards that we needed to write for like vendors, bridesmaids, groomsmen, parents, all that stuff. So those are all done, which is nice. So now I can like stick them in all the gift bags that are behind me. We did that and then we came home and I went to the chiropractor and Kiko left because he has work tomorrow. So tomorrow's his last day of work before the wedding. So he works tomorrow, which is Thursday, and then he's off Friday, and then the wedding's on Saturday. So that's very exciting, but kind of stressful because I wish he was gonna be here tomorrow to help me with stuff, but that's okay, he has to work. So that's the plan right now. This apartment is an absolute disaster right now, and I just cannot function in this circumstance like just looking at it right now really makes me go crazy but at the same time like there's so much stuff that I can't really put anywhere like all of this stuff has to stay here and then we're moving right after our little mini honeymoon too so that's a lot at the same time so stuff's just everywhere and I'm just kind of learning to accept that I'm not gonna really like start decluttering or packing till after the wedding. I just don't think I should be doing that right now. Like that's not a priority. And I don't wanna focus all my energy on that when I don't have to yet. So yeah, but that's why my house literally looks like this. Um, It's crazy, 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 but it's okay. Let's see, I need to eat dinner because I'm starving. So I'm probably just gonna make some, heat up some leftovers from yesterday. I just had some more pasta. Tomorrow morning, my sisters and I are going to get our nails done. And I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna do white French tips. I think I've decided. But I'm gonna look on Pinterest for a little bit more inspo because I'm not exactly sure yet. But yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put stick all these cards in the gift bags. Actually, no, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Like I said before, I'm on my period and my stomach hurts so bad right now. And I was gonna take ibuprofen that Keiko bought for me at the store this morning, but he accidentally took it with him. So now I can't. So now I'm trying to just chug water and see if that helps. I'm a mess right now. That's just the reality of it. I just also posted a 46 minute video. It was my last wedding planning vlog. So that one is obviously up for this one. So if you haven't watched it, which I'm sure you have, if you're taking, if you're keeping up with this little series, then you should go watch it. <laughs> Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh, of course he moves. I also need to make him an appointment to get him groomed. I wasn't gonna do it at PetSmart. 
but I honestly just can't find anywhere else like around here that seems as good as PetSmart. Also, I don't want to do it at PetSmart because it's so expensive, <sighs> but other places are even more expensive than PetSmart, so yeah, I'm probably just going to make him an appointment for Friday morning because we're leaving for the Airbnb around like 3.30 or 4 p.m. If I do it early in the morning, then he should be fine. Right, and then I can like get a lot of stuff done that morning. Oh my gosh, so much to do. Good morning, guys. It's May 19th, two days until the wedding. It's so crazy. Today's Thursday. I woke up in full-blown nerves this morning, and I didn't think I was gonna feel like this. I haven't like felt really like nervous at all up until when I woke up this morning. All good nerves, obviously, but it's just all hitting me, I think. But yeah, it's 9 a.m. Gonna go get a mani-pedi today. <sighs> getting my nails done and my toes done and two of my sisters are coming i mean my two sisters are coming and i'm very excited so i'm leaving soon i'm just waiting for rocco to be done eating and then i'm gonna put him in his crate and we're gonna go i'm so excited but so nervous so much is happening right now obviously and i just can't stop saying that but i just put some dry shampoo in my hair so i don't want to wash it until tomorrow night the night before but i'm wearing this bodysuit from wet fox these shorts also from white fox and I need to wear some like slides or something since I'm getting my toes done, but <sighs> breathe. I need to breathe. I also need to drink some liquid IV because I got some more tangerine liquid IV from Costco yesterday, like the immune support one, and I need it because Kikoa right now has a sinus infection, which by the grace of God will be gone by Saturday, but I cannot risk getting any bit of a sickness right now. So we need all the immune support we can get. Hello, everyone. Look who's with me. Say hi. You don't want to say hi? Okay. This is Riley. This is my nephew. I'm driving my sister's car with him and she's driving the other car because she has a truck and my dad needs the truck to transport stuff for the wedding so he's taking the truck and then we're all going to drive this car back. This is her other car. Anyways, we just got to the nail shop but we're still waiting for her. We got there here a little earlier than she did, huh? We're a little bit faster, aren't we? <laughs> Yes, faster. But yeah, we're gonna go get our nails done. Are you gonna get your nails done, Riley? No. No? Why not? Yes, <laughs> Okay. Okay, just got our nails done. I'll show you. This is what they look like. They're ombre. I've gotten it before and it's really pretty. And then my toes, you can't see them, but they're whitish, like a milky white. Yeah, Brittany got short nails for the first time. Oh. <laughs> short nails. For the first I know. time. I'm not Brittany anymore. She's a she's a long nail gal, but she not today. We're gonna go eat right now. Okay guys, I'm even embarrassed to turn on the camera right now because I have not vlogged like all day since nails yeah since my nails so i'm gonna do a quick update this is what i got so pretty it's like an ombre like a very neutral ombre very wedding vibes and as you can see i'm very did up right now done up done up i finally got the hair and makeup that i have been trying for and this is what i'm doing for the day of so i was literally practicing for five hours it took me like three hours to figure out what the heck i'm doing with my hair what kind of curls i wanted to do because they were just not looking good and then what i wanted to do in the back and i ended up just going for the simplest little twisty in the back and the most basic wavy curls ever but i thought i wanted something different and you guys would know if you were watching my like other planning videos but i just decided on this it's comfortable it's so easy it's super fast and it looks cute too so that's what i'm doing and then my makeup is the same as last time except i changed the shadows up from a pinky to a more like bronzy so like brownish orangey tones and changed my lip also to a more neutral muted color instead of like pink and i really like the difference and what it looks like now. So yeah, I just pulled out my suitcases and I'm gonna start packing because I literally leave tomorrow. Let me give you the rundown. Oh my gosh, tomorrow's Friday. Get married on Saturday. So tomorrow I'm driving up with my sister Brittany and her three kids and also caravanning with my mom who was picking up the desserts before and then also a lot of just groceries for the Airbnb for the morning of, for like, breakfast and stuff with bridesmaids and all that so she's doing that and we're leaving like around 3 30 or 4 tomorrow because we can check in to the airbnb which is by the venue at four but can't pick up desserts till three so we have to leave like after three if that makes any sense so we're doing that so i have 
up until like 4 p.m. tomorrow to get everything ready. Rocco has a grooming appointment tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I need to go to the bank to get a cashier's check for the payment for the venue. And what else do I need to do tomorrow? I need to write my vows. I need to write a letter. I need to pack up all the stuff that we need to bring and like organize it all and make sure it's all getting into a car. And I, I think that's all. <laughs> I think, but I need to pack. So I'm packing right now for the wedding, obviously. So it's going to be Friday night before the wedding at the Airbnb. And then also Saturday night after the wedding because we stay in a cabin up there along with all my other family. We each have like our individual cabins, which I'm so excited for. So I need to pack for after the wedding too. And then we leave for our mini honeymoon, which we're going to Laguna Beach for two nights on Sunday afternoon. So we're literally just going to come back here. My friend is watching Rocco, which is going to be so nice. So she's staying here for the time that we're gone. So we're going to come back here, handle all of that and Rocco stuff, grab our stuff, and then probably just head to Laguna. So I'm so excited. And yeah, that's the plan. So I want to pack for Laguna before the wedding so that I'm not scrambling and packing the day after the wedding before we leave for Laguna because that's not going to be fun. So yeah, I'm like so jumbled right now. And Keiko is working right now, so I'm... I, don't, I haven't even talked to him all day because he's so busy. I've been so busy. So hopefully everything's going good with him. I'm really praying he feels better because he has and had a sinus infection. So yeah, but I'll show you what I already got together. So I have my curlers that I'm bringing. These two. I got this from Target the other day. It's a huge like traveler pouch. So I'm going to put all my skincare in here, which I obviously can't pack it because I'm going to use it tomorrow. It has a center piece too and all my makeup is in here that I use to do my makeup. So that's nice. This thing is so spacious. It's like $20 and and I love it so much. Packed all my wedding jewelry in here, which is so nice. And I need to keep that very secure. I've got these little elastics that I need to put in a Ziploc because Rocco attacked this and ate it all. I have my veil in here, which I'm so excited for. So yeah, I think I'm gonna use the big, big one for Keikoa and I for Laguna for after. And I'm gonna use this medium sized one for the actual wedding because I'm actually not bringing that much, obviously, because, you know, my dress is the biggest part and that's gonna be in a dress bag, so. Okay, I just door dashed a salad from this random place that I've never ordered food from, but it was really good. It is 7.42. So right now I need to pack up all these cards. They're all written, bridesmaids, our moms, groomsmen, and then officiant and then all the other vendors over here. And I have these little pre-made wax seals from Minted that I'm gonna put on them. And we have our gifts right here. I was gonna put them in the bags, but they might get like lost down there. So we're just gonna like put them like this, you know, actually there. But yeah, I'm gonna put all of the wax seals on right now. And then I also need to write a card for my dad that I wanna read to him during our first look. So I need you to do that too. But let's put the wax seals on these first. like so cute adorable the address is on here is actually my address right now so it's not even going to be accurate because we're moving but i still don't want to show you obviously and uh, hopefully no one actually needs the return address because it's going to be wrong <laughs> Guys, I'm literally getting married tomorrow. <laughs> Today has been the longest, craziest, most hectic day of my life and I don't know how people film these vlogs successfully because I could not pick up the camera today. I That was the last thing on my mind and I'm sorry because I did so much today. I ran so many errands, just went to so many stores, got so many last minute things, packed our bags, for the mini honeymoon also and things are crazy in here crazy it is 3 23 right now we're about to head up to julian which is where the wedding is it's about an hour to an hour and a half away I'm waiting for my sister to get here who i'm carpooling with and my mom is also coming here also to caravan up there because she just picked up all the desserts and a bunch of groceries and stuff <sighs> so yeah i just showered shaved exfoliated all the shebang because we are self tanning tonight also so i needed to shave and exfoliate 
before that. But yeah, I'm just packing up last minute things right now and then we're gonna be on the way. I will try to film as much as I can actually at the Airbnb though because things will be more chill and we'll just be relaxing, prepping for tomorrow. So I'll probably talk to you once we head out because I still have a few things I need to do and I'm really rushing. Okay, we just got to our Airbnb. It is so crazy windy here, so cold. So praying it's not like this tomorrow, but I'm gonna give you a little tour because it is so cute in here. The outside's really cute too, but I don't really wanna go outside because it's so windy and freezing. But let's give you a tour. Here's the front door. Little mini living room downstairs. So cute, love the black accents. <laughs> Here's the first bedroom. There's a small bed right here and then a bunk bed. So the kids are sleeping here. My sister's sleeping here. And it even has like toys and stuff, which is so cute. It's very kid friendly, which is nice. Another bedroom over here. Hello vlog. Adorable. My mom already moved in. Hello vlog. Did you show my room? Be yep. Here, These two doors are locked. No. Don't know what they are. <laughs> Counter. Wine fridge. So cute in here. Lots of games too. TV space, look at these stairs, the staircase. The stairs are a little wonky though, especially with kids and babies, so scary. Go upstairs, whole nother living area. Living room, TV, so many games over there. Fireplace, dining room, this beautiful kitchen. And my mom, let me show you. She really came prepared for breakfast tomorrow. This is only half of it. So much stuff, Trader Joe's. And the fridge is stocked too with fruit and meats and cheeses and creamers. We also have the cake and praying it doesn't get messed up in here. And more desserts in here. There is an outdoor here. Look at this little patio, so cute, but it's so cold outside. The wind chilled out a little bit. This is the outside. Yeah. So cute. I hope it doesn't start raining. It's not supposed to rain tomorrow, so it's not gonna rain tomorrow. This way, bathroom. Another bathroom. This is so nice. This shower, so nice. This room, this is where I'm gonna sleep. So cute in here. Window to nothing. I think that goes to like the staircase. Closet, vlogging. <laughs> Do you like it here? Okay, bye. Okay, I'm coming on here to end this vlog because I never did because obviously things were very crazy, but thank you guys so much for watching this little mini wedding week prep vlog starting in the next clip, the wedding morning and just the wedding day vlog in general. Very behind the scenes type of footage. There will be a full wedding actual video coming from our videographer in the next few weeks but I wanted to do also a little vlog to show you everything. And thank you, Julia, for filming all of the little things on the actual wedding day because she's the reason I have a vlog. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. By the way, it is May 25th, so it has been four days since the wedding. The most amazing day of my life. I'm so excited to share more with you guys. But yeah, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next video, which is probably going to be the wedding day vlog. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.